And in some sport news, sports has been identified as a tool of fighting drug abuse in the society. This is the view of stakeholders who gathered in Aisebai Kitty for a novelty match organized by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency to draw the attention of youths to the dangers inherent in drug abuse. The state command of the NDLA, Anthony Arrio, appealed to residents of the state to furnish the NDLA with relevant information that could help in curbing the menace of drug abuse in Akita State. Other stakeholders at the event, including former Super Eagles player Motu Adekpoju and Kayode Adamaleko, said increase in drug abuse among the youths has led to a higher number of crimes in the society and appeal to parents and guidance to join hands with relevant stakeholders in the task of building a secured country. Starting this, I mean, introducing sports is very good because most young men are the ones that are involved in drugs. And you can see that uh, the sports is for young men. It's to discourage young men from taking drugs. Or anyone that is taking drugs cannot succeed in life. No footballer can succeed when he's on drugs. Yeah, we have so many challenges. So many challenges. We have vehicular challenges. We have a manpower challenges, although it has been addressed by the chairman now. Then we have challenges of information. Many of us that are gathered here know people by your backside, your behind your house, near your house, around your area, they sell in their hand. But they nearly, I mean they don't come from come with information. When we were growing up, our attention was our education. It used to be the fountain of knowledge. But it has shifted so drastically over the years. When introduction of Togri came into politics, it became so worrisome because you can't go you can't do Togri without stimulants. And that is what is actually affecting us. When you talk about crime, then talk about drug. Because 90% of crime cases are, you know, being when you, when you arrest criminals. 90% of them are on drugs, and it is very, very worrisome. It is something we have to support the NDLA to, to nip at the board. I played in the war, I mean, all over the world. I played in Nigeria, I played in Spain, and uh, I never engaged myself in anything, uh, drug or anything. So I want to tell them that, I mean, they can succeed in not engaging in drugs abuse, not engaging in drugs at all. There's nothing that is good in I mean, I, I mean, taking drugs. So if they don't take drugs, they will have I mean, good mind and I mean, uh, free mind, straight, they will be able to think very well and I mean, they will be able to think and do what they want to do and I mean, get to the level they want to get to. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.